Let's make salt water brine for the apple. Combine salt and water in a mixing bowl, stirring with a spoon until completely dissolved. This will prevent your apple from turning brown. Slice off a quarter inch off the apple to make it flat. Slice a half inch off the apple and place it in the salt water brine. Set it aside. Using the tip of your knife, carve a light line around the apple a quarter inch above from the bottom. Make a vertical cut around two thirds of the apple, but don't cut all the way through. Then, cut across horizontally using the initial cut as a guide until they meet. Remove the wedge and repeat this process with the other side. Be careful not to cut all the way through. Make a vertical cut down the wedge of the apple, leaving a quarter inch border. Be careful not to cut all the way through. Remove the smaller wedge and place the carved piece in the salt water brine. Repeat this process with the smaller wedge, again, not to cut all the way through. Repeat this process with the other wedge. Remove the half inch slice of the apple from the brine and use a knife to carve the neck and head of the swan while using the natural curve of the apple to help guide the shape. Slice it off. This is the head of the swan. Place it in the brine again. Let's assemble the apple. Lightly dry each apple slice and reassemble them. Now let's attach the head to the body of the swan. Place the neck onto the body of the apple and using a knife, outline the shape of the neck and carve a hole. Insert the neck into the hole. Reassemble the swan, putting the wedges back and gently fan them out. Bye bye bird.